Okay. Hey guys, Sean and Daniel here. And Happy New Year to everyone. It's going to be a good year, guys. Really good year. Um, now, today I'm really excited because I have a new tool that I want to share you, with you. Uh, and uh, today's video is going to be about the science of frequency healing and sound therapy. Because these, these tools I'm going to share with you and the new one are sound therapy tools. Before I get to that, t-shirt, rhinoceros. I call rhinoceros to me as a totem, as a power totem, because I have this huge project that I need to complete in the next six months. Big, 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 big. And um, you might not know this, friends, but we have a spiritual army with us. They can be um, guardian angels, spirit guides, our ancestors, animal totems. They're all here waiting to help, but you have to ask. You have to ask for help. So that's what this is about. Anyway, the science of frequency healing has been with us for hundreds of years. Science and the medical community has known for quite some time that there are sounds, frequencies, vibrations that heal the body, that hurt the body. It's old hat. Like I said, it's been around for a very, very long time. But we, modern medicine, unfortunately, does not employ frequency healing for whatever reason. But there are people out there that have machines. Someone called a Rife machine. Hula Clark has a machine where they list every, every ailment and every disease you can imagine. And there's a certain frequency that goes with it that is supposed to heal that ailment condition or disease. Just saying. Um, now, sound therapy. I employ sound therapy tools in my healing work. With every shamanic healing session I do, I use sound therapy tools. And um, I've talked about these before. I'm going to talk about them again. Tuning forks. These are remarkable tools. Remarkable tools. And they're quite versatile. And I got a new one. This is called a sonic slider. It is 93.96 hertz, which is different than all the others. That is called the Schumann resonance, which is the resonance that the Earth itself puts out. And the way these work is we'll activate the tuning fork, place it on the part of the body, It goes on and on and on. And it's a very unique, yet very soothing and pleasant feeling because it's not just the skin that vibrates, that resonates. It's the skeletal system under it, the bones underneath actually vibrate as well. And it is so relaxing. So, so very relaxing. Now I pulled the rattle out. I don't normally talk about the rattle when I talk about sound therapy tools, but you know, there are sounds that come out and that I use them at the beginning and end of every session. Now, this particular bell was a gift from a friend of mine. Uh, Ron used to travel Southeast Asia um, on buying runs, representing the, the interest of a couple Japanese gentlemen that had a bunch of New Age metaphysical bookstores in Colorado and California. And he would go overseas and we'd buy a bunch of stuff and bring it back for them. And um, on one run, he had one of these. And after I heard it, I asked him to get me one the next time it went, and he did. Now, I use this at the beginning of every healing session I do. And that particular sound, that vibration, that resonance, first off, it's very pleasing to the ear, right? But also, it cuts through the energy of the room and sets a whole new, a whole new tone, whole new energy bringing in. But what I love about this tool is that I can direct the sound and direct the frequency and direct the resonance. 
Sometimes I'll direct up to ceiling. I'll hold it over the body of my clients and patients. And um, like I said, I use this all the time. Now, what I have here are a couple of Tibetan singing bowls. Now, this particular one I had for decades sitting up on that shelf, and I rarely used it because I could not direct the sound, direct the frequency, direct the vibration. And I was thinking about it one day, and I just thought, what a waste. And then I had, I don't know, a moment of divine inspiration to put a handle on it, which I did do. And this is a smoky quartz crystal. So now when I use this, not only do we get the healing None of the healing properties of the bell, the bowl, we also get the healing properties in the quartz crystal as well, in the smoky quartz crystal as well. So it's like a, a two for one, a two for one. So I use this all the time now that I have a handle on it, now that it's more versatile. Now, this next bowl, this was a gift from a dear friend of mine. Her name is Carol Blonder. And Carol's the hostess of the radio show I do every quarter. Uh, 1100 AM called Networking Arizona. Like I said, it was a gift from Carol. And just for the record, she's a gift to all of us. But uh, once again, the bowl, you know, was the way bowls come. And um, I had, I've had it for about six months before I thought what to do with it. And then I knew I was going to put a handle on it, but I was waiting for the right crystal to show up. And where is this one is a smoky quartz crystal. This is a clear crystal quartz. Clear quartz crystal, excuse me. And let me share with you the sound of this. I love this tool so much now that I use it at the beginning of house blessings. You know, one of the services I offer in addition to the shamanic healing sessions is I call it a house blessing where I go to somebody's home or place of business and I cleanse the space from any unwanted energies or entities, clear out the riffraff, call in the good stuff and then call it a day. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you because I love it. <sighs> so with our tools that we use to heal, nothing is really written in stone. You know, make them your own. That's what we do as healers and spiritual warriors. Like I studied all the spiritual paths. Well, most of them anyway. Took a little here, a little there, a little there, and came up with my own blend of medicine. And that's what we're doing today. And many of you listening to this, you will be stepping into your healers. And you'll be doing the same thing. But uh, that's enough for today. I just want to share, you, share with you this new tool. Once again, Happy New Year, guys. Let's go out there and make it a good one. Oh, one last thing. Many of us are in, are transitioning right now, okay? With the Great Awakening going on, this new energy is making people wake up spiritually, getting on the spiritual path. People are asking questions that they've never asked before. Why am I here? What is my purpose? Why am I so compassionate all of a sudden? And, um, and as a result of people waking up spiritually, they're making drastic changes in their lives, huge. Like people are ending 20, 30 year careers in a certain industry and going for something completely different. People are ending relationships and marriages just as long because they no longer work for them. And if you're going through massive changes in your life, please know that you are not alone. 
okay? You are not alone. And we're all in this together. Because I'm in it too. I'm in it too. And uh, yeah, it can be scary. It can be very scary. But remember, the universe has you. Let go, let God. Okay, guys, enough for today. And never forget, never forget that you, I'm talking to you, you are loved. Walk in peace. Till next time. See ya.